public would say, let's put a pause on how we're doing public safety uh, policing in the city of Portland. Let's create, let's invest in this new system of the Portland street response so that we are making sure that we're intentional about sending the right first responders when someone calls for help. That's something we have to do and we have to start funding now. In addition to that, let's start having a community conversation about what does community policing look like, right? Because that's been a buzzword since Tom Potter was police chief, right? And the reality is we haven't had community policing since Tom Potter was police chief, right? Um, so we have to build a system that will work for us. If we believe that arresting people, 52% of the arrests last year were people but for being homeless would have never been arrested. Now talk about a waste of public safety dollars, right? Nobody feels safer because 52% of those arrests were people who were homeless. That makes no sense, right? If we invested that money in actually helping people get what they need to get off the street, that would make much more sense, right? Um, I think the city is set up purposely, I think our form of government is set up purposely to silo thinking, right? We don't have a big picture of where Portland is moving and how we're gonna get there and how we're gonna make sure that everybody gets there, right? That all communities are able to be able to afford to live in Portland, because that's almost impossible today, right? $72,500 is the median income in the city of Portland today. And I don't know a lot of people making $72,500, right? And so the reality is, is that Portland is not gonna be a place for long that working people can afford to live in. And if we don't do things differently and our best our dollars differently, then we're gonna still get the outcomes that we're getting today. And so what can people do? People can pay attention when the, when the mayor's budget comes out on May 1st, there will be a big pull up by this budget. And so look at this budget. You can see it online. You can come to City Hall and pick one up from the budget office. But look at it and see if it reflects where you think we should be heading. I know that the police aren't asking for more money, which is good, right? Because they shouldn't get any more at this point because they've got a lot. Here's a big one that's coming up soon. I'll ask you a question. Let me, I'll do a focus group right now. <laughs> Okay, so Portland Police Bureau has been promised that they could have a pilot project for body cams. So first, how many people in this audience support body cams? By a show of hands. Thank you. How many people would still support body cams knowing that the only people who have access to the video are police officers and that police officers have already been guaranteed that they get to be given the body cam footage before they make their <laughs> By a show of hands, how many people still support body cams? Right? So, yes, and so here's the deal. $800,000 was allocated to Portland Police Bureau last year before I got there for this pilot project on body cams. Now, if you know nothing else about body cams, what you know is you're collecting a lot of video, right? And you know video has to be stored somewhere, right? And so you know that costs money to store video that you may have to have access to for a court case, right? So the pilot, the mayor's been pushing and he took it off the agenda because uh, I had talked to my colleagues and said, you're not gonna support that, are you, right? So he took it off the agenda. I think he's gonna try to slip it back in. But anyway, so, I keep saying to the mayor, isn't it a better investment to take that $800,000 and do something else? Why would we let them play with body cams for six months and then come back knowing that we don't have a budget to support actually uh, collecting the data, storing the data, and if you're pretending that it's oversight or some kind of accountability measure, why are the police the only ones that have access to the data? Right? Do you want to pay for that? Let me hear you. Okay, I heard you. Now make sure that you uh, contact the mayor or my colleagues and tell, give them the same message, right? Because we one of uh, five votes. Three votes are needed to do anything. So help me find the other two that just kills this, right? right. And take that 800,000 and invest it in the Portland Street response, right? And so my office is going to be uh, developing a dirty dozen list of money that we think is misallocated that we're gonna be asking for it to come back and invest it somewhere else. That will be posted on my uh, Facebook page when we have finished developing the list. 
But the reason I have a budget analyst in my office is because I don't want people telling me that we don't have money to do things that are right and just and fair and that serve the people of Portland, right? So when they tell me, well, we can't do that, I can say, well, yes, we can, and here's how. Thank <laughs> you. 